Today we're going to take a look at a Dell 14 inch 2 in 1 uh, laptop. I'll call it a laptop computer. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and do a very quick unboxing, uh, show you the setup. It's a Windows uh, 11 uh, machine. And um, this is uh, for someone who will need it in high school. So we'll take a look and see how it is. So uh, keep watching and here we go. Well, today we have a Dell 2-in-1 laptop. I'm going to call it a laptop. It's a 2-in-1. It's a and uh, it's a 14-inch uh, that I bought from Dell, and it was uh, $549, so it's $550, supposedly $250 off, but of course we don't know uh, for sure, but uh, it, it showed uh, $250, so it was a great price, I think. So let me show you this as we unbox. Well, this is actually a little interesting here. It's uh, <laughs> inside the box, so I, I opened the box, and maybe I opened it from the bottom, though I don't think so and uh, stuff laying in there. Um, this is a new product. It's an Inspiron 14, as you could see here, Pebble Green. So that was a little surprising, what it looks like inside. So here's the power cord. Silica. Hmm power supply and uh, well looks like it's it wasn't uh, tight or wrapped properly and there's another piece of uh, corrugated and then there's a recyclable material there here's the product uh, I am not a fan of the packaging there's paper laying loose inside. Wow. This must be a quick start guide or something here. No, it's not. Um, Inspiron 14, two and one. Shows me to plug it in and press the power button and go for it. And the warranty information. Here's the actual uh, product. So we'll take a look at it again. It's a 14 inch. Um, display. Let me let me douse this light a bit for you. So let's see what it looks like and then we'll begin to set it up. I won't show you the whole setup but you'll kind of see maybe the beginning and the end. So let's take this out. There it is again 14 inch display and let's open her up here. Nothing in between. Usually there's something here, but there's nothing. There's no cover there. So this is an AMD uh, Ryzen. A Chikla keyboard here. Put that up a little bit. So we'll have to see how that types. Let's look around it. We have uh, two Type-C connectors here, an HDMI port, and the battery indicator. And on this side, we have a USB uh, uh, port, power. Let me see if you could see this. So I'm going to open it up as it's laying flat, and if you watch back here, it lifts the machine up. You can see it's on a bit of an angle right here. You know, as the cover slides that way. So let's take a little bit of a tour. It would appear that over here on the left will be a USB-C connection for power. Uh, the second item up here is the power and it's got a little icon up there. So that would be power. 
Uh, number, then after that, uh, again, we, see we have a, a battery view. Uh, so on the one side, we have an HDMI, which I showed you, uh, two, a USB 3.2, which is the first one. And the second one is apparently the power. It's got the letter P. Oh, wait. So there are two USB-Cs. Power delivery and display port is right here. So we'll remember that. And then another USB-C. The other side, we have an SD uh, card slot and a USB 3.2 generation one uh, here and a headphone jack. And of course we have the uh, feet for the, uh, for the machine. Up here, which we'll show you later, is a camera. Uh, webcam, I guess, is, uh, is a better word for it, which you can turn off also if you want. Uh, so that's great. And uh, so here we go. Let's take a look at it. The microphones, by the way, are up here. There's two microphone slots uh, up there. So let's take a look here. So the furthest back here, this is the power port. So let me plug it in. And I did. So let's get the power running for you. So you could see a bit of what this is going to look like when it's running. Okay, I've just plugged the power in. And of course, nothing's happening yet. I'll go ahead and turn on the power in a moment and uh, get you guys all caught up and watch it. Um, that's a little bit odd, I think, the way that uh, uh, it does lift uh, the machine up. But we'll see. So I'm going, here we go with the power button for the first time. Appears there is a fingerprint reader also. So the power button doubles as a fingerprint reader. So we had the power button here and that power button is also the fingerprint reader. So it doubles as both, so that's great. And here we go, we're starting up for the very first time. And I am in the United States. It's a touch screen also. And yes, I do want that. Uh, that feels pretty good, by the way, the, uh, the touchpad. Okay, I am now connected to my home network and now checking for updates. Fortunately, I have recently, recently added uh, a, uh, a third point for my mesh system here, and it happens to be located right next to this, so I should be doing well with, uh, with my network speeds. Almost there, finishing up a step. For someone like me that's watched uh, Windows through the years, it certainly is getting much, much easier. So I'm going to accept. I'm going to name this. So I've gone ahead and I've named it and we'll let this keep going and we'll see what happens. Key, the keys are interesting. They feel a little bit uh, tight or uh, uh, not, not quite uh, easy. Uh, I don't know quite how to explain it yet, but uh, I'll type on it a little bit more and then uh, let you know. You start to get a perspective now with the 14 inch screen, a very, very large touchpad, by the way. We have a, a Ryzen 5 
uh, CPU, and we have integrated Radeon uh, graphics. So we'll just kind of go through this, and I'm at the sign in part. So I am going to sign this in. So I shall be back. Just to keep you updated, I have been entering all of the uh, personal information, and uh, now it's checking for updates. And it looks like we're getting ready, finally, for Windows. All right, well, at this point, let me bring it a little bit closer. Uh, here I am at the start menu. And um, what's interesting is I think it's actually all set up. And um, it took zero time. It took really no time at all to get all this uh, uh, set up. And of course, uh, the computer will have to be personalized and everything. But uh, so be it. A couple of things I noticed I'll just mention to you is... Uh, the keys don't feel easy to me. I think I've mentioned it once already. Uh, they feel a little bit difficult to me. Um, and um, I mean, the style of the keys is okay. There seems to be more than enough space in between the keys. So there's not a problem there that I could see. Uh, this is so large that it's a little bit um, odd to me to have to move that far to get to the keyboard. So that's, you could see how large uh, that is uh, there. The display is a 16 uh, by 10. It's 14 inches, as I uh, told you. USB Type-C, which uh, ev everything probably will be or is. Uh, the, the touchpad is awesome as far as moving it around. It seems to work uh, really fine. It's very precise, uh, so I, I do like that part. Um, and the webcam I've not yet uh, looked at. Maybe I'll, uh, uh, I'll turn it on, but we'll see what that looks like. There's a thing called Dell Cinema and a few other things that uh, I'm not quite uh, looking at just yet. But anyway, um, so far this is where we are. It looks just fine. And uh, we'll continue to set it up and uh, give you an update. Well, we are on. This is uh, Edge. And uh, so it's up and running. I don't think it uh, actually took more than about 10 minutes total time uh, to get this up and running. So all that is, is really good. We'll uh, surf around here and see what we could find and figure out what's on here. Um, but uh, as of right now, it is up and running and I might do uh, one more uh, short video again. Uh, the three things I was troubled with is one is the way that the uh, uh, the display when you push it back how it raises the laptop but again that may be a good thing I don't know two is the size of the touchpad is uh, larger than I would think I would want uh, but um, I don't know. It, it certainly, as I said, you could see how far I have to go to reach the keys. So uh, I think uh, it's a little bit large. And the, the keys themselves, uh, I'm going to put my microphone on it so you can hear it. So there you go. There we go. So uh, I, I like the, si uh, the size. I think 14-inch display is really good. So I'm happy with that. Um, I like the appearance of the exterior. I think it's really good. Uh, the ease of flipping it over is kind of nice as far as to convert it to a two-in-one. Two and you can see here. So there it is, converted to a two-in-one. And you can see on the back here, to allow heat to escape for our Inspiron 14, there it is in all its glory. It is 417 in the afternoon. It's currently 75 degrees outside. 
and um, we have set up our Inspirin. Well, though this was a relatively easy uh, video for you uh, with just an unboxing and uh, a, a look at the setup, uh, I want to thank you. Uh, a couple of things in my summary. Uh, one is clearly the uh, un unboxing uh, was a package that is not consumer friendly. I think it's for businesses probably uh, with multiple shipments, multiple pieces, setting up and whatnot. So uh, do not look for a very elaborate uh, uh, unboxing or uh, packaging with this particular product. Two is I mentioned during it, uh, the keys are okay. Uh, they're not great on the keyboard. Uh, there was a lot, of, they, it just didn't feel right to me. I had some issues with it. More important was there was the gap. If you remember, there's a gap between the end of the uh, unit and where the keys begin on the bottom with a rather large touchpad. I think it was way too big. And the result was my hands were very, very spread out on it. Now. On the other hand, Dell makes a great product. Uh, I'm happy that I got an AMD version. The price was great. And so far now, it's actually been a few weeks. It works awesome. It's a, it's a great uh, product. So I highly, highly recommend it. I think you'll enjoy it if you get it. And I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you.